something like that. She knew I swear, these people literally, it's like all day long, there's no sound because he's we're at his home. And then the moment he leaves, the moment I hear his car door close, within 30 seconds, they've got their dogs barking. It's, they, so, it's just, they are intentionally leaving the dogs outside to piss off. But they don't, they don't want, themselves want to listen to it. And let me just, let me just show that they're not home once again. I mean, literally, you could match this up with, like, his work schedule or whatever. So, like, fuck, back up! No one's here. As you... And as usual, the dogs are outside barking. I, I honestly, I, I don't understand how they don't get this. Actually, I guess I should They, like, really think there aren't any consequences. Yeah. I can't really see. It's dark out. That 19-year-old piece of shit's gonna learn the hard way. That there are consequences to his fucking douchebag behavior. He thinks he's so fucking clever. Well, when he tries to get a fucking job and there's a, over a hundred videos with his name on it, making him look like a fucking asshole because he is an asshole. Um, guess what? That's not ever going away. These videos are never coming down. 25 years from now when he's trying to get a real job and he's a grown ass man and he can't get one because he still has all these videos out there well who gets the last fucking laugh Brad Weiss you're a fucking moron <laughs> this is the same kid who apparently thinks he's mature enough to get married to the girl who was involved in that pistol assault video that is on this channel and they've been dating less than a year and they're now engaged to be married and he doesn't even have a high school diploma. And she's, they both work together at Victoria fucking Secret. What a fucking joke. Doesn't even live on his own, can't pay his own rent, can't pay for shit, can't pay for his own car, can't do anything. He works part time as a fucking, he refers to it as a casher on his Facebook because he can't spell. He forgot there's an I in the fucking word. But, and, and, and interestingly enough, you don't hear this barking going on during the day when he's fucking chilling at home watching TV or whatever the fuck he does all day. But then the moment he leaves the house, this shit happens and we have to deal with this crap? Fuck that. We'll see who has less fucking laugh on this.
that's all they want. Unreal. It's like the rudest motherfucking kid I've ever, I've never come in contact with. I mean, like, I was a rude fucking kid as a kid. And I would never have done something this obnoxious on a regular basis. Because I wouldn't want the media trail. Like, we made it really clear to them. We film all this and we post it all to YouTube. The kid is so stupid, he doesn't even understand that YouTube is Googleable because they're owned by the same fucking company. And guess what? It's only going to get more fluid. So 5, 10, 15 years from now, it's going to fucking be showing up when people try to do background checks on him. There's going to be a video of him pointing a gun at me because he's a fucking moron. And doesn't know how to be... He doesn't know how to handle himself. Still, Pinellas County Sheriff doesn't do shit. Pinellas County Code Enforcement hasn't done shit. They've been they've left the um, sofa, trash sofa, out for over a month now, maybe a month and a half. Almost. It was before Thanksgiving. It's still sitting out there, and Code Enforcement hasn't done shit about it. Like, what the fuck is the point of this? Like all these different county services, if no one does anything, literally, like, wh what do they do? The first time they left, a, they dumped a bunch of fucking mulch on our driveway and left it there for over a month, and rodents came. Now they've left this chair out front, and guess what? Last week, I saw a friggin' rodent crawl out of it. Like, that'll be the second time they've brought rodents into this area. They're like dirty, just... They're fucking white trash. I'm sorry. They're fucking white trash. This is the definition of... They make me ashamed to call myself a white person because honestly, I don't want anything to do with these types of people. Like, and, the, and, the, and the worst part is they buy this victim card. Like, it's everything is their fault. Everything is someone else's fault. And just, things just happen to them. Except this is the type of bullshit they do. And then they wonder why bad karma comes onto them. You know? The fucking the, the mother, Brenda Wise, she's getting divorced now. You know why? Because of this shit. He had enough of it, so he fucking walked. Once he found out that she was lying about us and lying about our dogs at the county, he fucking walked. Karma's fucking real, and this shit does come back around to bite you in the ass. So you know what? As far as I'm concerned, at this point, I think it's hilarious. Like, go ahead, keep leaving him outside. I'm going to keep filming it gonna keep living my life and posting him and then your life is gonna be ruined so just make sure you remember this brad make sure you remember this brenda like your lives are probably gonna be ruined by these videos now so congratulations And for the record, the definition of psychosis is doing the same shit over and over again and expecting a different result. I think this is pretty much the epitomization of crazy batshit crazy people. Because they keep doing the same shit and they think that somehow like, a different result is going to happen. I'd be losing my mind too if I lost my spouse over lying about our, some neighbors and their dogs. Crazy ass bitches. It, 
here, here's, here's the thing. I also, I have no idea. I, here's the thing. I have to explain this to them from a distance, you know, when they try to run their mouth on me. I've explained to them that, that, uh, what we're doing. But I'm not really sure that quite, like, I don't think they get it. Which is really ironic, because he's young enough to have grown up entirely in the internet age. And she's old enough to know better. And yet, here we are. I mean, this is insane.
OMG, what a fucking surprise. Brenda comes home and the barking stops. So, once again, let me just demonstrate. Moment. Barking stops. You know they've gotten home because they don't want to listen to it, but they're okay letting everyone else listen to it. Look at that. Now they're home. Now there's no barking. Premeditated intention to fuck with the neighbors. That's harassment. It's criminal after excessive harassment. Sick and tired of this shit.